a 32-bit central processing unit and operating system can officially support up to 2 to the 32 bytes of RAM. And if we whittle that down, it is equal to 4 gigabytes, so that's pretty standard. They will not be able to utilize any more than that. If any more were installed, it would simply be ignored by the system. However, if you are using a CPU made in the last 10 years, the chances are that you are using a 64-bit operating system. This unlocks the potential to use way more RAM in your system, but just how much exactly? First of all, we need to figure out how many individual bytes this would be able to support, which can be figured out by doing 2 to the 64, which gives this. We can convert the bytes to kilobytes and kilobytes to megabytes respectively by dividing the answer of the previous by 1024, which is how many there are in the predecessor. If we whistle it down far enough, we can get to 16 exabytes, which converts to 17,179,869,184 gigabytes, or 16,777,216 terabytes, or 16,384 petabytes. That is a lot of RAM, considering the amount of data stored in the entire world in 2007 was thought to be around 295 exabytes. Will we ever get to this point? Probably not. Will we ever need to get to this point? Certainly not in our lifetime at least. But just for a little bit of fun, let's pretend that a 128-bit operating system and CPU architecture were to exist in the near future. How much RAM will it be able to support? Let's just say it is a rather large amount. Using the same method, which is doing 2 to the power of 128, I can find out how many bytes it can utilize, which came out as this. The final number is beyond existing measurement suffixes, so it can only be shortened to the largest known one, which is a geop byte. One geop byte is approximately this many bytes without any numeric abbreviation. Yeah, we aren't playing with any small numbers here. Or if you want to massively shorten it down, it is 1024 to the power of 10, although 10 to the power of 30 is rounded to the nearest non-tillion and is not terribly accurate, it will still help me put the size of this number into perspective. The amount of grains of sand on the earth right now is somewhere around 10 to the power of 19. Now let's get to this value, using the same technique of dividing by 1024 repeatedly, I've reached the geop byte meaning I could not go any further at this point. The final number came out to be approximately 268,435,456 geop bytes. The chances of us ever needing to move to 128 bits at all is extremely slim, and we would almost definitely never see 128 bit operating systems in our lifetime. I was initially going to throw 256 bit in there, but after seeing the sheer scale of this 128 bit value, I decided it was best left alone. So I hope you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, and if you did, please don't hesitate to leave a like, comment, and maybe even subscribe for more. Check out the How to Compute Discord server first link in the description, but thanks for watching, and I will hopefully catch you all next time.